It's not a single question. It depends on the government. You know, in, the, in the Western countries, for example, governments are not so strong. They interfere with regulations, but on only on specific subjects. For example, um, in France, they're uh, interfering in terms of uh, um, pirate, pirate copies of music or things like that. United States, it's even worse. They are totally, uh, totally uh, paranoid about copying films, copying movies, copying, copying uh, uh, books, and so on. In uh, countries like uh, countries like um, uh, Arabic countries, it's much more uh, based on religion. In countries like uh, India, it's more about languages and also about economic economic things. For example, in India, they want to be able to produce, for example, um, um, pharmatic, pharmaceutic or whatever, uh, uh, drugs. They want to produce drugs at a much lower cost for, um, for f healing the poor, the poor people. But most of the time, those drugs are already patented by international lobbies, mainly based in the US, but sometimes also based in, in Germany or based in Switzerland. And that's a, a major, uh, a major um, point of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, antagon antagonism between the U US and those countries. And I guess that, that's going to continue. You know, there, is, there is no single way of saying whether it's good or not for the governments to interfere. They do it. I don't think we can, anything, we can do anything about that. It depends on their capacity of uh, providing, or being powerful, or providing solutions, and also uh, depending on their relationship with the United States and the Western countries. So in the end, uh, we have to live with that.